Hey everybody on YouTube, it's Rude Boy, and I got a brand new video for you guys today. Previously I made a video with the Elgato HD60 capture card, the Astro Powered Splitter, and the Astro A40s. Now, basically I was able to show you guys how to capture your in-game audio, your live commentary, your party chat, and the voice chat in-game. Now there was two issues with that method. Number one, too many wires. Nobody likes that. Number two, when you connect it through the Astro Powered Splitter, it doesn't allow you to mess with the mix amp on your Astros to record what you mess with in the Astro mix amp itself. So basically, if you mess with any of the audio dials on the Astro mix amp itself, like the voice or the game volume or anything like that, it's not going to record what you messed with on the Astro mix amp, if that makes any sense. All it allows you to do is turn the volume up and down. So this method allows you to basically mess with the Astro Mix Amp and whatever you mess with, mess with on the Mix Amp is what you're going to hear in the recording. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So basically as you can see we have the Astro A40s headsets. The Mix Amp is on below me and I'm going to show you guys that in a few. My power, Xbox One controller and the power adapter. You're going to hook everything up stock the way it was originally. Now, here's what we're going to do. One end is going to go into, you know, the controller. It's going to go into the controller port of your mix amp. The headset is going to go into the headset port of your mix amp. Let me show you guys that real quick. See right there? Headset controller. All right. Now, of course, you're going to run your optical cable to your Xbox One console. Now, here's the difference now. Instead of using the power splitter from Astro, what you're going to be using is a four-pole wire. I showed you guys that previously in the video, so you guys should know what a four-pole wire is. Now, the only difference is one end of the four-pole wire is going to go into the 3.5 millimeter jack of the Elgato HD60. It's right here on the side. The other end is going to go into the stream port of the Astro Mix Amp, as you can see right there. Now, for your software settings, what you're going to have to do, guys, and this is very important, you're going to have to go into your device right here. See right here? It says device. Go into the settings. Make sure with analog audio is checked, or you're not going to get any audio. Also, you're going to want to make sure your TV is muted because the voices come out of your TV when you speak in the headset. Another important thing you want to do, Windows or Mac, you see where it says live commentary? Make sure that's fully turned down or disabled because what's going to happen is it's going to record your voice twice and it's going to have an echo. Now, the only problem I've seen with this method, first of all, it sounds great. But we haven't figured out a way to basically change the volume of my voice. So I'm trying to figure that one out. I don't know if it could be done, but overall it sounds great. If you want to hear how it sounds, my last two Destiny videos I did on my YouTube channel, that's recorded using this method. If you have any questions, rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. And again, this method is far the best because as you can see, I don't have that much wires running. It's only, you know, it's very simple, clean setup right there for my recording. 